Hi guys, welcome to Gene Mutation. So you need to be able to describe the types of mutations, describe, uh, explain how the different type of gene mutation result in different amino acid sequence, or explain why some mutations do not result in a change of uh, amino acid sequence, and discuss the causes of gene mutations. So in terms of the specification, it's the extension of year one stuff that you did in section four. So in terms of the terminology, of course, you need to know what is the mutation. So any change to the quantity or structure of the uh, DNA of an organism and gene mutation, it's any change to one or more nucleotide bases or any rearrangement of the bases. So to start off, we will be looking at the uh, really important question. So how mutation can lead to the production of a non-functional enzyme? So it's really important because this question is worth six marks and it refers to the aspects of uh, protein synthesis because enzymes are proteins. So we will have to refer to the aspect from DNA to amino acids we need to mention mutation in our answer and, of course, enzyme, the structure of the enzyme. So the model answer will have to refer to the change in the base sequence of DNA, change in amino acid sequence, which, of course, affects the primary structure of the enzyme, change in, uh, in the bonds, so hydrogen bonds, ionic or disulfide bonds, change in the tertiary structure of the enzyme, change in the shape of the active site so enzyme substrate complexes cannot be made because substrate is no longer complementary to the enzyme's active site so whether mutations are taking place of in terms of the cell cycle of course they're taking place in the cell as a stage of the interface and why so suggest the explanation for this this is because the dna replication takes place in the s phase so how to work out on the mutations so quick recap from uh, year one so starting with the uh, with the triplet on dna complementary codon on mrna this is then the complementary anticodon on tRNA, which will bring then amino acid. So to work out this amino acid, we had to use the sequence of mRNA. So you use the codon, so adenine was the first base, uracil the second base, and adenine again. So this is the amino acid coded by this anticodon. And then we're going to uh, do a mutation, pure point mutation. So rather than head being adenine, we're going to replace this by guanine. So again, that's the complementary codon, complementary anticodon, and the amino acid. Okay, so again, to use, to work out this amino acid, you have to use the sequence on mRNA. So adenine, cytosine, and adenine. So doing this point mutation, so uh, changing one base in the uh, in that triplet, we came up with the different amino acid that will affect the polypeptide. So looking at the uh, mutations, substitution and deletion you discuss in section four. So I'm not going to look at this. We will be looking at addition, duplication, inversion, and trans. Uh, location. So what you need to remember that if the mutation will take place in the uh, somatic cells, uh, the change cannot be inherited. But if the mutations take place within the gametes, that will be passed on to the next generation. So let's have a look how the mutations work. So the addition of the bases, this is where we've added extra base so that was your original sequence that's added base so uh, that will have the similar effect to deletion so it will cause the frame shift to the right and if three bases of course will be added there won't be no uh, frame shift that will be just an extra amino acid within this polypeptide so as a result we are going to the uh, to get a different polypeptide so number four, it's a duplication of bases. 
So as you can see, uh, the bases uh, keep uh, duplicating. So what will happen here as the effect? We will get the frame shift to the right again, and as the effect, different um, uh, different uh, polypeptide will be produced. Inversion of bases. That's another type of mutation. So as you can see, the sequence of the uh, DNA uh, nucleotides will shift around. So uh, so that, that group of the bases uh, will be separated from DNA sequence and to rejoin at the same position but back to front. Uh, the effect, of course, will be different amino acid sequence. Translocation of bases, so this is the one that will have a really big effect because the group of the bases separated from DNA on one of the chromosomes will be inserted to the other chromosome. Uh, so as, uh, as we can see, that will have a significant effect on gene expression and that will uh, cause the change in the uh, phenotype of the organism. So that's everything of, uh, in terms of the mutations for the second year. See you later.